Hi students, in today's class, I would like to explain about semi-custom ICs. Already in the last class, we discussed what is meant by full custom ICs and semi-custom ICs. The main difference between full custom ICs and semi-custom ICs the full custom IC is a methodology for designing the ICs by specifying the layout of each individual transistor and interconnections between them. That means so full custom ICs are user defined. That means whatever the application or the part we are designed as a IC that will be processed like a standard product with a full set of masks for all fabrication layer that is whatever in any manner or in any stage that will that IC is completely used for, uh, for the user uh, oriented that means in any stage the user uh, want to uh, what output from that IC that will be designed through by, by the user in case of uh, semi custom ICs uh, these designs either uh, partially or fully prefabricated or structured like uh, standard and custom ICs but with uh, largely pre-designed mask patterns that means the semi custom ICs mainly divided into two types those are nothing but standard cell based ICs and gate array based ICs that means these are developed with uh, without uh, the user oriented that means semi custom circuit where only a few masks are defined mask is an arrangement of transparent area it contains the design what you want where we want to expose the silicon so here in uh, semi custom ICs so mainly that will be differentiated in two formats one is a standard cell based ICs and another one is a gate array based ICs again that gate array based ICs will be divided into three types one is the channeled and another one is a channel less and another one is a structured IC we will see one by one in this class so first of all what is meant by standard cell based ICs the standard cell based ICs are pre-designed logic cells like gates, multipliers, flip-flops and so whatever uh, we free fabricated within uh, these cells. So that cells we can call it as a standard cells. These standard cells can be placed anywhere on the silicon. A standard cell requires uh, less silicon for a given functions these are designed to fit together like uh, bricks the power and the ground lines runs parallel to the upper and lower boundaries of the cell so neighboring cells share a common power and uh, and the ground as a bus terminal the input and output pins are located on the upper and lower boundaries of the cell so that means uh, in a simple manner so whenever we are constructing a wall in between the two rooms why uh, in what purpose the bricks will be uh, used for uh, to make the wall so in the same manner so here uh, whenever we are uh, designing a specific application that is a specific functionality so whenever we are designing uh, that application by using the standard cell based so here uh, so we're having the logic blocks and the IO parts and the routing channels so in between wherever the logic black array is uh, uh, forming so at that place the the specific functionality that means either it may be um, constructed like as a gate or constructed like as a multiplier and constructed like as a flip-flop so at the at that place we are completely manufactured or formed like a, a specific application in case of the within the standard cell based ICs 
and remaining whatever the input and the output and the remaining uh, uh, routing lines that will be formed uh, upper and uh, lower boundaries of that uh, particular uh, standard cell so based on that concept we have to build the ICs under uh, standard cell based ICs and now we have to see what is the difference between uh, uh, channeled gate arrays and the standard cell based ICs is so here uh, the gate arrays are mostly wised uh, used for to implement the logic functions so that will require more area and uh, delay time and the design time with gate arrays is uh, shorter than the standard cell design so in this transistors are predefined uh, on uh, silicon wafer a gate array is an IC chip on which gates are placed in matrix form without any connection among the gates. By connecting the gates, user can realize logic networks and the connections among gates are run in narrow strips of space between columns of rows of gates. These strips of space are uh, nothing but routing channels. Design with gate arrays is, is very inexpensive and quick. So compared with uh, standard cell ICs and uh, gate arrays, so the design time and uh, expense that means uh, uh, whatever the time taking uh, for to design the design that will be inexpensive. So in gate array based ICs, so mainly we are having the channeled gate array. So whatever here. Uh, the shown diagram uh, represents the channeled gate array format so here also we are having uh, the logical blocks that means the base cell and the routing interconnections and the input and output pads so that will be cleared so whatever uh, here the logic will be the IC will be implemented so that will be clear uh, that will be clearly shown uh, in out of the space uh, that is in circle format so how the ICs or the programming will be done based on the gate array based ICs. So the channel gate array. So here uh, the futures, the futures of the channel gate array is uh, the interconnection, whatever uh, we have to implement the logic from one cell to another cell. So that will use us predefined spaces between the rows of uh, base cell. And a channel gate array is manufactured with single or double rows of the basic cells across the silicon. So that basic silicon contains number of transistors uh, that manufacturing time takes uh, two days to two weeks. Uh, so final customization process is used for uh, interconnecting basic cells which uses channels between, uh, between the rows of uh, cells for interconnection that means here we are having a, a channel we're having a channel in between uh, uh, to follow the one logic to another logic so uh, it will create uh, some transistor functionality in between one cell to another cell so based on this application so we have to fulfill our uh, requirement and the next one now uh, channelless gate array so here and it is also called as a C of gate arrays so by observing the channelless gate array and the channeled gate array so here one row to another row we're having uh, a particular uh, channel so we have to follow so in which place uh, which functionality will be performed so that will be clearly defined in channeled gate array but there is, that is not uh, convenient in channelless gate array. So that is, uh, it is also called it as C of gate arrays. So here uh, the number of array elements are increased. There are number of predefined areas for routing between the cells. So it allows larger number of array elements to be utilized than a channel array for the same size of die. So same thing that will be without the channel so we have to implement the logic in any part of the uh, this array and the next one a structured gate array 
so this is one is a structured gate array so this array gives the improved area efficiency and increased performance rather than the channel and the channel less array and the advantages of a gate array is, uh, is uh, this can be designed in a short time only one cell of transistor needs to be carefully designed and this layout can be repeated on chip and the power consumption is reduced and the speed the speed of the circuit will be very high compared to that is um, full customizes and the standard cell based ICs and we having the drawbacks here uh, the chip size is large compared to full custom or uh, standard cell the chip size is large it is difficult to keep gate arrays uh, uniform and each pair of uh, MOSFETs is placed in an individual and if the number of fan outs and the length of the fan out connections increases due to the delay increases from one channel to another channel so whenever we are increasing uh, the array of cells then the delay also increases from one channel to another channel or one row to another row so that is uh, one of the disadvantages in uh, gate array based uh, ISIS thank you